Good morning, everyone. Woke up in the W Hotel. I'll show you, I'll give you a tour a little later. We're heading out right now. We're going to see some temples and get some breakfast. All right, we're here at the a subway. And inside the subway has a McDonald's. And they serve porridge. Unfortunately, it's 11 a.m. already, so they stopped during breakfast. We'll have to try tomorrow morning. I just purchased the rapid card. It's 200 to purchase the card, and uh, you have a hundred dollar credit in there. So the other hundred is just to buy the car, and there's no refund. Ah. Right, we're about to go on the ferry to go to the Grand Palace. Fifty dollar bet per person for a one-time ride. Is we got on the subway and got off at the South Penn Taxon station. Um, and just walk out the station, you'll see the ferry. Either you can take the long tail boat or you can take just a regular ferry. Uh, the long tail boat was gonna charge us 150 per person. I chose to be on the ferry because that's uh, most people are here on the ferry using the long tail boat, so that's why we chose. And instead of uh, doing the one day hop on and off, we did the one time 50 bucks just to go to one place and then I think we can just walk around and see the other temples. Right, it's been a week since we've been traveling and I am breaking out so much. I don't know if you can see. Might be the water, might be the food, might be just not having enough sleep. I don't know, I'm breaking out. There's River City here. You can visit River City Shopping Complex. We got off at the Grand Palace station. Um, we haven't had breakfast or lunch yet, so we're looking for something to eat right now. All right, so it's really hot. So we chose the first restaurant that we saw, Choman. It looks like a chain restaurant. They have a huge menu. This is gonna taste great in this weather. Mango tree. We're outside of the Grand Palace. It's a Friday, so it's really crowded. A lot of tour groups here. So Brian is in shorts. Gaston out here. He needs to cover himself up. So we're trying to buy something. You can either rent it for 50 baht or buy one for 150. All right, it looks like Brian's already. Hell of a man. All right, we're inside of the Grand Palace. Today's vlog is gonna be very touristy. I hope you enjoy. The first time I was in Bangkok, I didn't get to see all the historical sites. I was only at night market, getting massages, at the mall shopping. So this time it makes sense to go around and see some historical sites. Hopefully you enjoy. You have one and a half hours. Hi, we both rented a guided audio tour. To learn something about all these uh, temples and the history of Thailand, then just uh, quickly walk through, right? So, yeah, I'm really excited. This right here is the statue of the father of the Thai herbal medicine. This is the mausoleum contains the ashes of princes and other royal persons. The structure is uh, in porcelain floral, designed taught by a spiral in the shape of the Thai crown. And there are important Buddha images inside. Look how gorgeous this is. Wow. This is the Buddha's library, contains structures. So the door is um, exquisite mother of pearl doors, but it looks like they covered it up. Uh, model of Anchor Walk. It looks really familiar because we were just there. Take a look at this mini Anchor Walk. Hey. 
The guardian giants each are in different color and different crown. They protect the Buddhas in there. This is Guan Yin. Alright, we're about to go into the most important area of this temple, the Royal Chapel of the Emerald Buddha. We had to take off our shoes and socks, and we're ready to go in. Steps, lots of people in there. This is just a corner of this palace right here. This is amazing. No pictures inside, so I'm gonna get it from here. The Emerald Buddha. It's outside the palace. This Chinese guy's phone got taken away because he was taking pictures of the Buddha inside. The security or the police here are serious about taking your phone away when you're not following the rules. Okay, we just exited the temple and now the Grand Palace. This was built as the official residence of King Ramat Pai. It's now used for state banquets. We're here at the Reclining Buddha. Next to the reclining Buddha, there's more temples. This is where the waffle was at. Waffle. We're all done with temples. We're on our way to the subway station, but it's just so hot. So we stopped by a coffee shop to cool down and get some drinks. We just had something nice, icy and cold at this hostel. Bed and bike. And we realized that uh, there's one temple. Uh, what is it again? Wat Arun. Wat Arun, which is pretty famous, and we haven't seen. So we decided to walk back and take a look because it's uh, nearly sunset, and if the sun is not covered by the cloud, it's gonna be really pretty. So we're gonna walk back the direction we came from to take a look at Wat Arun. Looks like it's gonna be a nice sunset. Got this view. We're going to the ferry. Behind me is the Wa Aru at night. We're taking the ferry across. So we can get on the subway to go back to our hotel. We are back to our W hotel. All right, we went back to the hotel, showered, cleaned up, feeling much better now. We're gonna take our chances and go to Sanbun Seafood. It is Friday tonight, so we know there's gonna be a wait, but not sure how long. It's 8 p.m. and we'll go see it. Huh? No more? FYI, the rabbit car does not work for train. Now we're here buying tickets. There we go. We're here! Going up to the second floor. This is the which, um, which store? Rochata? This is the Rochata store. Looks like we don't need to wait. Here we are. Our first dish is here. Curry crab. This is a small size. 
Sunday is perfect for us because we have uh, about three other dishes coming. There we go. Ready to take on the crab. Yep, like I mentioned. These mud crabs. Shell. Shell. So, I believe the sauce has tomato sauce. It's pretty sweet and um, it has a little tangy taste. A little bit tangy. Yeah. So, I think it's tomato sauce, but I'm not exactly sure. It's just really, really good. Really it could be, good. It could be chili sauce too, though. A little bit of chili sauce too, maybe? But it's not spicy at all. And we also ordered the uh, Tom Yum Bun shrimp Tom soup. Tom Yum soup. Tom Yum soup with shrimp. Here's our veggie plate. They do a really immaculate job with the presentation. The, uh, the shiitake mushrooms here on the side, the napa cabbage that they steamed and stir fried, uh, they kept it together so you can actually peel off individual layers of napa cabbage. Just had a sip of the soup, good flavor. It was super spicy, too spicy for me. Inside I have mushroom, shrimp. I wanted to order this dish, oyster, stir fry with uh, egg and crab. <laughs> I love this. It's all yours. One thing I love about this Tom Yum, it's got a lot of lemongrass. One thing I don't like about this soup, they can put a lot of lemongrass in the serving. I'm constantly picking out lemongrass. It makes it a good tease to enjoy. It's still a good soup though. Which one's your favorite? Tom Yum soup. Hands down. I never had a Tom Yum soup so. so rich. A little bit of coconut milk in there either. It's just a very strong seafood broth. A lot of herb, a lot of, a lot of seasoning, but not overly salty. Everything seemed aggressively seasoned, but well balanced. Aggressively balanced, I can tell. <laughs> I'll try to make this at home.